Hey guys, today I'm going to be covering application problem 10-2 in the textbook. Um, the first section says the accounts, receivable ledger forms, and selected general ledger accounts for health fashions are given in the working papers. Use the sales journal from problem 10-1. Here's the sales journal. And the, set, the first instruction says post the transactions on the sales journal to the accounts receivable ledger. Here's the sales journal, accounts receivable ledgers on the back. The first one is Pulse and Medical Clinic, November 2nd. So you can go ahead and write November 2nd to, to abbreviate it is S11, and the debit is 2,171.94. It's a debit balance and a debit balance, so you have to add them together. Give me a second because I have to do it on a calculator. 1,547 and 17 or 15 cents plus 2,017, 2,171.94. We should get a running balance here of 3,719 and nine cents. Post reference is 140. Post reference is 140. All right, next one is medical, Central Medical Clinic. So we go back to Central Medical Clinic. We write the fourth. Post reference is S11. And the debit amount is 735.64 cents. So I add 735 dollars 64 cents plus the 1,648.96 cents, and I'm getting 2,384.60 cents. 110 is the post reference. Mason College is the next one. I come down. To Mason College, I write the date, which was the 7th. The debit was, the post ref was S11. The debit was $1,648. Now I have to add the two together. I'm taking $1,648. Plus six hundred seventy nine and nineteen cents, and I'm getting two thousand three hundred twenty seven and nineteen cents. Post reference is one thirty, and I move on to the next one. Tran Tranian Emergency Center. The date was November 9th, S11, and the debit is $877.68. We have to add the two together, so I'm taking $877.68. Our running debit balance of two thousand one hundred eighty-four and fourteen cents, and I'm getting a balance of three thousand sixty-one eighty-two. I don't have the answer key for this one, so I have to add up the problem. One fifty is the post ref, and I'm on to Fairview Hospital. Fairview Hospital was the nineteenth. Post ref is S11. It was a debit of $2,064.88. So we add those two together $4,218.19 plus $2,000. $64.88. I'm getting a new debit balance of $6,283.07. The 
120 is the post ref. And finally, we have Central Medical Clinic again. So we come back to Central Medical Clinic. The date was the 25th. S11 is the sale, is the post reference. The debit account is $3,600. $90.92. And we have to add those two together. $3,690.92 plus the $2,384.60. We should get $6,000. 75.52. Post reference is 110. All right, first step is done. We posted every um, transaction on the sales journal to the accounts receivable level le ledger. Total, prove, and rule the sales journal. All right, so we are going to write the date here 30th, the word totals because we need to first total. And you go ahead and just total up each column. For the accounts receivable, I'm getting $11,189.06. Don't forget to draw my totals line. For the sales credit, I'm getting $10,649. And for my sales tax payable, I'm getting $540.06. Again, I'm just adding up the columns. Okay. Total, prove, and roll. So how do we prove? We make sure that the debits equal the credits. So most of the time I just go like this. Debits, credits, $11,189.06. $10,649. Plus five hundred and forty sixty six cents. Nope, six cents. This will be brought down, and this will get us the eleven thousand one hundred eighty nine and six cents. So we've proved it. So we can go ahead and double rule this to say debits equal credits. They equal each other. Debits equal credits. I proved that debits equal credits, so I double line the bottom. All right. Last step, post the sales journal to the general ledger. So, good thing they had this. I didn't see that there. You would want to write the amount, accounts receivable, debit. This is the same thing that I just did on the first page. $10,649 and $540. Oh, six. When you add those together, you get your debits equal credits. All right. That's nice that they did that. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So here they give you the um, ability to prove right here on the paper. But if they don't, you would just do the little T account. That'll do the same thing for you. All right, so now we need a post from the totals to the general ledger. So I'm going to take the first one, which is the accounts receivable. And I find my accounts receivable debit. The date is the 30th, S11. The reason I took the 30th is because there's only 30 days in November. And when you um, do the totaling, it's always at the end of the month, the last day of the month. Um, I just wanted to highlight that in case you didn't know. So then the accounts receivable debit is $11,189.06. Debit and a debit, we add them together to get $21,466.69. Post reference is 1130. Next one is the sales credit. So I come down to sales. The date is 30. It is a credit S11 
of 10,649. Credit plus a credit. Seems like that's a typo. That should say credit. Credit plus a credit. 205,384 and 26 cents. 4110, 4110. Last column, 560 for sales tax payable. The 30th, SE11, 54006 is the credit. Add that together to get 1,485 and 24 cents. 2120 is the post reference. So they make it a little bit easier instead of posting these individually, individual, individual. These kind of things can be posted as a total. Same thing here. Instead of posting all the sales individually, it's just posted as a total. These need to be posted individually to the accounts um, receivable ledger so that we can we can know, hey, Pulse and Medical owes us oh, let's see, $3,719.09 versus our sales. We don't need to know who is like, we don't need to know that this came from them. Um, we can tell that by just looking at the accounts receivable account. So that sale is just recorded as a whole. Same thing with sales tax payable. All right. Um, good luck. And I will see you when we do 10-3.